Hello, welcome to another Informatica video tutorial. My name is Fernando Guerrero, I am a Cloud Solution Specialist, and in this video we are going to talk about how to resume a failed task flow. Through this presentation we are going to talk about why it's important, how we handle the errors in a task flow, this is going to be crucial, and also we will see which options we have when we want to resume a task flow. We will look at demo, and then at the end I will give you some links of re reference for documentation. So why is it important how we handle the errors in a task flow? Depending on how you handle the errors, if a data task fail inside a task flow, you can decide if you want to stop the entire task flow and all the following data tasks will not be executed, or you can choose if you want to ignore that error and you want to continue executing uh, the rest of the task flow. Sometimes you have dependencies, maybe the data task 2 depends on the data task 1, and if the first one fails, you don't want to execute the second one. So you need to think about all those requirements when you create your design, and also think about you have the possibility to resume the task flow later. So all this place when you when you create your design. That's why it's really important that you choose the correct way to handle the errors. And we have two options to resume a task flow uh, that has failed. One of them is suppose that you have um, data task one, two, and three. Okay, the one is executed fine the two fails and the task flow stops there. Maybe uh, the task flow three depends on the two. So when you want to resume, you want to resume and try it again to process the data task two and then the three. That's one option. That's what we call resume a task flow from a faulted step. Maybe the, the data task three doesn't require the data task two so you want to resume, but you want to skip the data, uh, the data task uh, two and start from the three. Then we have the option to resume a task flow skipping defaulted steps. Those are the two options that we have available uh, at Informatica Cloud. Okay, now we can start working on the demo. For this demo, I will create a simple uh, task flow with three data tasks. And I know that in, in real life, in production, you will have more complex designs. But the objective of this video is only to show this feature and how to reprocess a failed uh, task flow. Okay, so uh, we have to keep that in mind. So I am going to create just three data tasks. And I will select a mapping task for each of them. For the first one is going to be my employees task. For the second one is going to be my city. Okay. And for the third one, it's going to be my customer uh, mapping task. Okay. Um, something important is like, how do you handle the, the errors? In your, in your task flow. Because when you have a data task, you can choose to ignore the error and if something fails in this data task, you just ignore it and keep executing everything else. Or you can choose to suspend the entire task flow if this data task fails. So that's, that's something that you have to keep in mind where you are creating your design. You have to think about how the process will flow if one of them fails and how can you recover uh, from that failure that's something important that you you need to think when you are create the design uh, so right now because i don't want to continue executing the data task if one of them fails that's why in my error handling i choose that the entire uh, task flow will go into suspend if data task one fails. Now for my data task two, I am going to choose the same option 
and here I am going to choose the same options. You, um, you can, for example, you can choose create your er your custom error and apply your own logic. You can ignore. Uh, for example, you can ignore and let everything run, but at the end, uh, you the status of your task flow will indicate that the task flow failed instead of telling you, oh, it was successful because it finished. No, um, you have dif you have different option, but that's a different different topic. So right now, uh, we want that if if a data task fails, the entire task flow will stop. And I am going to let me save this one. And intentionally, the data task two is going to fail. So for this one, I did modification. So uh, the the uh, the flat file that is looking for that flat file doesn't exist in in the source. So it's it's going to fail when you when you execute uh, that that step so that that's intentionally and then for the second part of the video i will show you how uh i will place that um i will place that file back and it's gonna run fine and sometimes when you are working uh and you execute a task flow in production maybe you have a network issue maybe you have an issue with the database that impacts your process that at that precise moment where you uh task flow was running and maybe you were able to execute uh, data task one fine but there was a problem with the data task two and you don't want to execute the tree because maybe the tree depends on on the data task two so that way it's good to stop and then in the future if you need to reprocess this one you don't want to reprocess the data one again maybe it's critical then you cannot do it uh, maybe you can do it, but you don't want to. So this gives you the power to take that decision. So let's go to run right now here, run it. We can go to the monitor and we can see that it is running. And let's gonna wait while this, while this uh, task flow runs. Let me refresh. Is still running. I will refresh one more time. Okay, so now we can see that it went into suspend status. So let's gonna take a look. See, the first one was able to execute successfully, but the second one failed. And so now I am going to modify uh, the data. Let me go to my to the flat file that originally uh, this data task was looking for, but that didn't exist. So let me just put that um, flat file back into my source folder. Okay, so yeah, I am just trying to simulate what if you have a network issue, database issue. Uh, I am doing that with uh, flat files. So here, okay, I put the, the file back. So now just imagine that, okay, uh, something happened in production, something happened when you were doing the development QA, uh, and you want, you need to reprocess uh, this task flow, but you don't want to reprocess this one again. So you have two options. You come here to the top corner, and you are going to see this one. You see that it's like an arrow that is like a loop, it goes back. You have this one that's used to. Uh, that's just to refresh, but here you see this one and it tells you that you can reprocess uh, your task flow and you are going to start from the data task that fail. Okay. Then at your right, you have another option when you can reprocess your task flow again, but instead, instead of starting here, you can skip this one and start here. Those are the two options that you have available. So in this case, uh, maybe because in our process, maybe we have dependencies, we want uh, to reprocess data task two before we can 
process the data task tree. So I want to reprocess the entire data flows starting from the data task that fail. So in this case, I choose the resume from faulted step. I am going to execute it. Let's go to the running jobs website. Okay, and as you see, it's running again. The same task flow, it's, it's running again. This time it should be successful and all the data tasks should be completed. Okay, so now that I refresh, we can see that it's successful. So let's gonna take a look at the uh, task flow, okay? So look, so here you can see how the first time when we executed the task flow, the first task was able to complete successfully. The employee's mapping task was able to complete successfully. Then the mapping task related with CD failed. But later when we reprocess, you see the, the data time? So those are, the, those are the data tasks that were executed the first time that we run our task flow. Uh, and the data task stopped uh, the entire task flow in this step. And then we, when we reprocess the task flow, we didn't do this one again. If you see, it's only uh, it only did uh, the last two the last two data tasks, and this time both of them were successful. So this is the feature that we have inside Informatica Cloud uh, to reprocess a failed uh, task flow, and you can start from the point where the task flow failed, or you can skip that step. And so you can keep this in mind. So when you do you when you do your design, uh, you can think about this future and how to recover your process in case of failure. For more information about how to handle errors and about how to resume a failed task flow, you can visit the following links. Those are the official Informatica documentation. If you have any feedback that you would like to send us, please write an email to support videos at informatica.com. Thank you very much for your interest in Informatica Cloud Solution.